My name is David B. and I'm a documentary filmmaker from Portland, Oregon. And I'm here at the Covalite International Film Festival with my new film called Built by Zyda. And it's a film about an environmental cleanup that happened within the last decade in Portland, Oregon. And it was overseen and paid for by the family that created the actual contamination in the first place. And they're called the Zydells. And the Zydells have been on a particular piece of property in Portland, Oregon for over a hundred years doing various heavy metal, uh, heavy industry, steel-based uh, uh, manufacturing. And in all of that work, they did a lot of ship breaking and uh, purchasing old World War II surplus ships and breaking them into pieces and selling everything. Those ships contained many of the so-called miracle chemicals that helped us to win the war in the Pacific, but we later found out are harm harmful to human health. And so the land was not usable for 30, 40 years. At a certain point, the Oregon DEQ approached the Zydells and, and gave them a great opportunity, and the Zydells embraced it, which is very rare for a private entity to step up to the plate. But what the Zydells realized was that if they took the lead on this, they could then transform themselves into real estate developers. And this is a new model for cleaning up catastrophic messes because our government agencies are bogged down and, to, to, in many instances, not effective. But there are many private, uh, uh, there's lots of private expertise out there that can be called upon, but who pays for it? Well, if you have, if you have investors who will come in and do it, conceivably we could start cleaning up the entire country in a more piecemeal fashion, um, which would get us moving and start cleaning up the mess of the 20th century. So it's not just a, a film about a particular uh, cleanup, but a possible model for the whole country. It is. Potentially it's a model because although it seems like it's very obvious, you know, that if you pay for it, for something difficult, you own it, it's such a difficult process that you have to be really, you have to have nerves of steel and you have to be very patient in order to, 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 to oversee the whole thing. The, the Zydell remediation took over 25 years to plan and permit. Wow. So just, just figuring out what was there, in what concentrations, where it is, then how to get it out of there, and then getting the permits to do the work is in and of itself uh, a, a career <laughs> for anyone. Right. So a lot of people don't want to get involved. They don't want to commit to it. And the Zydells did. It sounds like it's multi-generational, practically, you know, it's almost, you know. Yeah. Well, it's a good story for Butte, right? It so, is. Right? So, actually, if nothing else, I hope it's an inspiration for people 